Hey guys, and welcome to part one of my new series, All About the Planet. For the uninitiated, every day I cover a different planet in our solar system, going by distance from the sun, though it will exclude Earth and replace that with Pluto. In today's episode, I will be covering the planet that is not only closest to the sun, but also the smartest, smallest, and arguably the most boring planet of them all, Mercury. Now before we end today's planet, I would appreciate would like the video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Okay, so what is Mercury like? Well, we've already established that it's the smallest planet in the solar system. And no joke, it's really small, only about 50% wider than our own moon. In fact, two of our solar system's moons are bigger than Mercury, though they are much less massive than the planet itself. It's also the closest planet to the Sun, at about 0.39 astronomical units, or in other words, only about 39% as far from the Sun as Earth is. As, as a result, it whips around the Sun in only about 88 days, or a little less than 3 months. This would create some super weird calendars, because due to the Sun's extreme tidal forces at this close distance, it takes a full 59 days to make one rotation on its axis effectively making one Mercurian day two-thirds of a Mercurian year. The solar day, that is, the time it takes for the sun to return to the same spot in the sky, is much shorter due to the planet's movement around the sun, but it's still several weeks long. As wacky as it is, it's still less weird than Venus, so which I'll get to in the next part. Anyway, you would expect that Mercury is the hottest planet because it's so close to the sun, but that title actually goes to Venus, so Again, for reasons I'll explain tomorrow. Despite this, Mercury can still get pretty dang hot, so we'll have a temperature of 800 degrees Fahrenheit on the day side, but down to negative 280 degrees on the night side, due to its lack of an atmosphere, and thus the lack of an ability to distribute the heat very well. Okay, so why did I spend so long going over seemingly boring physical characteristics? Well, Mercury isn't the most exciting planet out there. There's no spectacular ring system, no diverse ecosystems, not even a moon. It actually resembles our own moon quite a bit, that being it's a gray, crater riddled planet. There are a couple of somewhat exciting things though. For one, craters in shadow near the planet's poles might have ice in them, well, similar to our own moon. Another thing is that apparently there was this huge impact on the planet billions of years ago. Why is this so crazy, you might ask? Well, apparently the impact was so big, shockwaves traveled through the planet and came out the other side to, get this, create an entire mountain range uh, on the complete opposite side of the actual impact. Uh, due to the fact that erosion is basically non-existent on this, plan on this planet due to its lack of an atmosphere, that crater and the respective mountain range still exist today. Finally, the planet could be useful in the future as a launching station for probes that aim to explore the sun itself, or even to make a Dyson sphere. That is, a huge structure surrounding a star that harnesses its energy and uses it to power other things that humanity wishes to accomplish. Uh, because of this, Mercury could be an important space outpost in the very distant future. For now, however, Mercury is just a gray, lifeless planet that ranks dead last in my ranking of the solar system's planets. Don't worry though, that means literally every part in the series after this will be more exciting than this one. In the meantime, however, I would appreciate it with like the video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Thanks and have a great day.